Hello and today I'll be taking a look at the Lego Star Wars Micro Fighters Series 2. This is the Snow Speeder and it's set 75074. These are RP for about 9.99. Later in the year you might be able to pick them up for like a pound off or whatnot. Uh, on the back it's just showing you what else is in the line uh, and a few more bits about the packet. So let's get it open and see if it's worth the cash. <laughs> So here is the snow speeder. First off, it looks really, really nice. If you showed this to anyone, you could probably tell you that it is the snow speeder. If you showed them some of the others, they might not get it. So if we quickly take the minifigure off and have a look at it, these bits are ratcheted, um, but obviously it doesn't do that in the film. It's just the way that it's been built to give it that slight angle. It does come with these flicky missiles on the bottom, which are quite terrible as usual, um, but still they are there. There are a few quite a few bricks in this, it's very compact, very solid, spin it round some nice textured plates there um, obviously a little antenna that goes on the back and these big guns on the front so I do like the look of this, they do rotate and spin round as you can um, kind of see there um, so that's nice, I do like the look of this, very keen on it indeed and then we go on to the pilot himself, he comes with a little blaster and then he's got the outfits that we have seen before spin it round, goes on to the back so we have seen that one, the detail on the helmet's really, really nice. Lots of accurate paintwork goes all the way round. So very happy with that. And then he has a ch cheesy smug face. It doesn't advertise who the pilot's name is, uh, but you really could pretend that it's anyone. And then spin the head round and you can have a worried looking face as well. So all in all, that's a very nice figure. I could probably do with a couple more of these so that I could actually have a nice collection of them because I do like these ones. Um, something I would recommend, $9.99 you're paying for the license really because you don't get as much Lego as you would in a normal Lego set uh, but still it definitely carries over and I do like the look of this one so thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time for more Raw Pain Reviews <laughs>